Hello, my name's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm getting first light with my new toy, which is the Skywatch Evo Star 120 Achromatic Refractor on the EQ5 mount, which is a nice stable mount for it. And at the front of my house, it's pointing south towards, at the moment, the Orion Nebula. But as you can see, I've got that street light to contend with, so I'm literally pointing just past it. So there's a limit to how well I can see things at the moment. But even so, I'm looking at the Orion Nebula through a 25mm plus look 40 times. And I'm just going to try and show you what that looks like through the eyepiece now by offering the camera over. Don't know how well you can see that or how well focused it is. Try and focus it better. This is sort of like a live view with my camera lens, so it probably doesn't look quite the same as with the naked eye, but with the naked eye I can see plenty of detail in the nebulae, loads of dark features, and the trapezium stars, so it's, it's a nice sight despite the, despite the lamp. I mean it's going to be much better once that light turns off at half eleven I think. I don't know if I'll still be out here then, because I've got a glass of wine with my name on it. But I thought I'd get first light after the three back-to-back -back storms we've had. Got a lovely view of Orion and Betelgeuse. And you can see those three stars forming a triangle. We've got Procyon, Betelgeuse and Sirius forming the Winter Triangle. And I'm just looking at the sword of Orion through the telescope at the moment, which is where the Great Orion Nebula is. Have a little look down through the camera and see if we can see it. There we go. I think it's just drifting off because I've not attached the motor drive to this yet. So I'll just use the slow motion controls to bring that back in line. Can we see some of that lovely nebulae and the trapezium stars. And the stars look absolutely beautiful for a refractor so pinpoint it's just something special about a refractor so i'm looking forward to having plenty of fun with this telescope this was just a quick first light out the front of my house before i go in for a, a glass of wine to celebrate but i'm just going to sit out here and enjoy the views for a little while despite the I mean, i'm literally staring into that street light i just hope my wife lets us move to the country one day I'd love to live in the country and not have all this street lights to get look at them, they're just everywhere. And that house has three security lights on it, which is a nightmare when you've got them on, you've just got no hope of seeing anything. But yeah, other than that, it's quite a nice night. Got Pleiades up there somewhere. And uh, this is what the setup looks like. So it's a crown and flint classic achromatic refractor with an 120mm objective lens and a focal ratio of f8.3, focal length of 1000mm and it's on a very sturdy EQ5 mount which holds the telescope really nice and still. I'm pointed, my polar scopes pointing up towards the north where the pole star is so I'm able just to make adjustments to the right ascension axis on the slow motion control just to keep track of the rotation of the earth and keep on Orion there. But it's nice to have a chilled out observing session every so often as well as the imaging. So I'm going to go back to enjoying the views through this beast of a refractor and I'll catch you soon where well, I'll be doing some tests and some imaging and all sorts. Who knows? Anyway. Thanks very much. As always, big thank you to my channel members, The Four Grapples and Dan the Man. And thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, please tell those clouds to sod off.